I'm just uh, so honored and uh, continue to be excited to be the fire chief here in Edmonton. 2021 was another busy year and another difficult year um, given the pandemic. And um, even as fire chief, uh, getting out to stations, listening to staff, the, this pandemic and, and all the added pressures of, of what's happening has definitely taken its, its toll on our staff. Um, they continue to be resilient. They continue to, to serve the, the public uh, to the best of their abilities. But it just, um, as, as chief, there were a few uh, times in the last year that we really needed to focus on supporting our staff. And uh, we came up with uh, two new partnerships to uh, better support the mental health of staff. We broke ground on our Windermere Fire Station. What was shocking about 2021 was we saw such a dramatic increase in the opioid calls. And at one point there was seven times the amount of calls that we would normally see uh, pre-pandemic. And throughout the course of the year, we are still five times higher for our opioid related calls than we were previously to the pandemic. And that was shocking. The other piece that we saw um, along with the significant increase in, in opioids, uh, the increase of fires in the Northeast. Part of our, our planning right now, now that we've identified more of the root causes to them is um, how are we going to address those fires and uh, how are we gonna educate um, the, the most vulnerable members of our public around uh, fires and fire safety, which is um, what we're seeing either outdoor fires or in tent fires or even fires in, in vacant structures. Um, the second piece is making sure that we're looking at uh, what's going on with these vacant structures because there shouldn't be people in them. And there's, you know, it's, it is as innocent as people trying to stay warm or trying to eat. And uh, so making sure that uh, we're working with the National Building Code, the Fire Code and, and other industry leaders on how we can address this situation is something that we're working on right now. And making sure that you know when we do displace some of our most vulnerable members that they are getting the help they need and, and, and somebody's looking after them when that happens. And I think it just speaks to the care and compassion that our, our firefighters have on the front lines to make sure that uh, we're looking after um, those uh, members of the public that are our most vulnerable. Diversity and inclusion has been a huge priority for Edmonton Fire Rescue Services. Um, one of the things I'm, I'm proud of is that uh, we've uh, diversified our, our management team and uh, we've attracted uh, diverse talent. Um, and I, I do believe the, one of the keys to diversity is attracting talent through the doors. And uh, we have uh, a lot of planning that's going into 2022. And in 2021, we looked at our recruitment process and we made some uh, modifications to it. Uh, looked at ways we can be more transparent, um, looked at ways we can be more equitable uh, in the process, but also we bolstered some of our uh, programming around Camp Inspire and attracting gender diversity to the fire service. There have been uh, a lot of challenges that have come with uh, 2021 that weren't expected as, as chief, but f I have great staff around me and uh, we've been able to adapt and persevere um, to, uh, to be able to meet the needs of, of the public.